are just in here now. <laughs> Take a look. AT&T, 12 foot tall, built from scratch. We would see that other states had toy stores and Nashville would have none because there was none until we got here. They painted the door that has become a selfie spot. We call the door Skeletor. The store's tagline is vintage toys, arts, and farts. The farts is self-explanatory. I just fart a lot. I do like to think of it as our store, but I'm not here anymore. It's all yours. Oh my God. You guys ready for a big sale? <laughs> I kind of pitched the idea that we should open a toy store. We saved all this money, too, and that we have no investors. It is a lot running three toy stores. We're Instagram famous. Liz started photobombing a lot of our customers. People come from out of town, and they're bummed if Liz doesn't end up photobombing their picture. In walked this angel looking for Wonder Woman stuff. They gave me a role. I am actually the giveaway girl. Hey, Maisie, you remember when I fired you from the store? You never know what's going to come through the door. The Godzilla toilet paper holder. The vinyl gave Jawa more sought after, more valuable. A nice older lady came in with just a shoebox full of Star Wars figures. And in there, a pretty blue snap of tooth. Exceedingly rare. This is a weirdo's helmet from the 60s. And actually, depending on the condition, can actually go for close to a grand. You have to have something that sets you apart. We have these things in our store that we call Lizodermies. They're taxidermies, and also my name is Liz. As a collector, what more do you want than a store full of toys? Now what do we do?